The first step will be to unbolt the two OEM carriers and let the drive shaft hang down. It'll make it easier to cut the carriers off. Next, we'll make a cut on both sides of the front carrier. This will allow us to separate the carrier from the bearing. With the main carrier frame removed, now we'll make a cut all the way around that's going to allow us to get the last metal ring off. Next, we want to cut off all the material in front of the bearing. So feel with your thumb to where the material starts to get soft and cut everything off in front of it. Now we'll trim the rubber down to make the raised section the same height as the flat section. Next, we'll repeat the process on the rear carrier. First, cut the main frame off. Next, cut the rubber all the way around to remove the inner ring. Now feel around on the bearing to find the soft spot so that we can cut off all the rubber in front of the bearing. Last, trim down the high part to be flush with the lower part. Next, we'll install the new carrier, text going forward, put the top half over the bearing, then bring the bottom half up to meet it, connect the two together with the Allen bolts. As you're tightening it up, switch back and forth from left to right to make sure the bolts don't bind in the holes. A small gap may form between the two bushings. This is normal. Now take your bolt and fender washer and isolation damper. Then go up through the foot. Then come down from the top with another isolation damper. And then put your small washer on the very top. Same thing on the other side bolt, fender washer, then your isolation damper facing up. Go through the carrier, come down from the top with another isolation damper, and put your small washer on the very top. With all that installed, you can bolt up the rear carrier. Now we'll install the forward carrier, same thing, text facing the front. Make sure you get the right hand side foot up and over the exhaust because you won't be able to do it later. The same process on the front carrier, bolt, fender washer, isolation damper, go up through the carrier, come down from the top with another isolation damper, and then your small washer on the very top. Same thing on the other side, bolt, fender washer, isolation damper facing up, go up into the carrier, come down from the top with another isolation damper, and then your small washer on the very top.